good morning another another weekend another nice hike plan today uh, something special for me uh, I am at Mount Monadnock in Keene New Hampshire uh, it's a great mountain I was here just about a year ago last year uh, great winter hike and it's a beautiful day for it uh, it's about 30 but the sun's out uh, winds are calm so uh, looking forward to it uh, the only challenge is uh, there's quite a bit of snow. Uh, I don't know what the trail looks like, if it's been compacted by other hikers or not, but uh, just looking out the window here, uh, there's about a, a foot of snow to hike through. So we'll see how it goes, but um, really looking forward to it. It's a great hike. Um, I think the mileage is maybe under three miles to the peak, and uh, the peak is 3,165 feet and we're at about a thousand foot elevation for the parking lot. So uh, a nice nice little um, bit of elevation. Been looking forward to this. So I'll get my gear on and get out there and bring you along. Okay. Okay, <laughs> you got lost already. Uh, as you leave the parking lot, you walk past the pond, which I remember. I think it's Gibson or something like a Gibson Pond. And uh, the trail to the mountain goes around the pond. Somehow I missed it and walked onto the pond. So I followed deer tracks back to the trail and I think I'm on the right trail now uh, I stay to the left of the pond and then the mountain trail is beyond that but uh, I'll let you know the name when I see the sign nobody here <laughs> it's uh, and there's not a lot of foot tracks uh, So, uh, you can get lost in, up here, um, and once you get off the trail where there were foot tracks, you're knee deep in snow, so uh, you want to stay on the, on the trail. I'll show you what it looks like. That's our trail, Birch Toff Trail. We'll follow that. The deer seem to know the trails. See their tracks. It's a big deer here. Okay, I'm about a half mile in. So far so good. Uh, trail's pretty good. Sun's staying out, so that's a blessing. A little bit of a breeze, but uh, uh, really enjoying it. It's just real quiet. Of course, the plane's flying over now, but it's been real quiet out here. Behind me, that's the way we're going. So uh, the elevation will start soon. So this is what I remember from last year. Uh, sweating. <laughs> I was went with a group from the Appalachian Mountain Club, and they're all young, young bucks in their 30s, and they had an ass-kicking pace, and I'm dragging my ass up behind them and sweating like a dog. 
and asking them to stop and uh, give me a break. But uh, that was my first mountain, so I really wasn't conditioned for it. Hopefully, I'm doing better, but I'm still sweating. <laughs> uh, trying to manage my layers. I should probably take something off, but I know soon I'll be above the tree line and want it back on. But that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, I'll just carry on and take a slow pace for now. Still enjoying it though. So the trail's getting steeper. Uh, that's anticipated. And in spots it's very slick. Like people are probably butt sliding on their way down the hill. It's that steep. So far, so good. I'm not cursing the trail. That's a good sign. We have switched trails from uh, whatever it was, Bancroft, to the Red Spot Trail. So we should be reaching the tree line soon and out in the open. I read the story about the why is this mountain a bald mountain and it wasn't a natural occurrence. It was uh, whoever farmed this area 200 years ago, they clear cut it for grazing for sheep. Imagine that. I guess it never grew back. But you do get a nice view. I do have tunes going, so that definitely helps. You enjoy the silence for a while, and then you want to hear something. So I have a nice collection, mostly 70s, but it's eclectic mix. I uploaded some uh, album from Apple, 111 classical songs. So mixed in with uh, the Eagles and Fleetwood Mac, his Mozart and all the rest.
wife is going to say, what are you doing with young girls? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> So I'm sitting here eating my lunch in the sun, uh, relaxing a little bit. I planned to do it up on top of the mountain, but uh, a couple of reasons I didn't. Um, it was a little breezy and cold, but the main reason was uh, it was very icy. The last couple of hundred feet going up was kind of an ice sheet, and it was very sketchy. And uh, as I was just getting up there, two young ladies were going down, and I asked them to wait. I wanted to go down with somebody just in case. So they were nice enough to wait, and uh, I went down the trail with them. We went down a different path, which was a lot less uh, uh, ice sheet than what I had gone up. So I think it was a good decision. Uh, so ladies, uh, in my luck, they happened to be ICU nurses, so I was in good care. Um, thank you very much for your patience with me. So. All right, um, so the tough part is over. It's all downhill from here, but uh, it feels really good here in the sun and uh, I'm enjoying it now. So onward. Okay, I'm back in the car. Uh, it was awesome. It's just what I needed today. It was uh, a great hike, a great mountain. Uh, I got in my elevation and miles. I'd say it was about nine plus miles, a little over 2,000 feet in elevation. So uh, it was a good workout. Uh, no complaints. Um, I think I only cursed three times and it wasn't at the mountain. It was at little branches smacking me in the face. But other than that, uh, it was all good. I didn't fall. That was good, too. I think I was a little lucky. Uh, it was a little sketchy at the top. The trail I came up it was a sheet of ice uh, near the top. And uh, I'm not even sure I would have been able to find my way back down. There just were no markers, no Karens, nothing. So it was fortunate that I uh, went down the other trail with the two young ladies. So thank you again for that. <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, it was a great great day and uh, just just what I needed for today so that's it for now and I will see you on the next one thank you